innovative, amazing science with Sanana. I believe and I hope that you are doing great. So am I. And it is always a pleasure to meet everyone out there. Today, I'm going to share a very interesting real life experience of my childhood. We all have gone through this childhood phase and I'm sure that everyone was naughty but to a bit, not to that extent, to what extent I and my brother were. So me and my brother were very, very and very naughty. So this is one such experience I'm just going to share with everyone. And we both used to play pranks. We both used to like uh, crack jokes. And we both used to get scoldings together. But that never stopped us from being naughty. But one more thing also which happened. We both used to learn things together. Which was quite interesting. And as a child we all know that we were taught with many good habits. And one such habit was washing your hands before you consume something or maybe before you cook you have to wash your vegetables thoroughly and if you have to eat your uh, what do you say fruits you have to wash them so one day i was about to eat uh, like a fruit and i thought let me be a bit naughty and let me just wash my fruit and the fruit which i wanted to eat was an orange so I guess orange doesn't need to be washed. But I was naughty. So I thought let me just wash that orange. I just peeled my orange and I put that orange inside the glass tumbler which was filled with water. And I thought let me just observe what is happening. By then my brother just entered the room but I was not noticing my brother. He just called me from the back and he just called me D and he was about to throw something before I could catch the thing that thing fell inside the glass tumbler and to my surprise it was an orange but we both enjoyed seeing how the way he threw and how I missed the catch and that orange fell inside the glass tumbler but we both were a bit uh, surprised because although both were the oranges and if you, if you think about the weight of the orange both the oranges were similar like of the same weight but there was something interesting in both the oranges so are you interested to know what happened to our oranges that day if so stay tuned with me and let's get started so the things required are, I have taken an empty plastic bottle and I have just cut from the top layer. Whatever bottle you are having at home, you can just use that. If you are having a glass tumbler also, you can use that. If you are having glass bottle also, you can use that. But make sure it is a little bit heighted so that you can see it properly. And I have taken some water and two oranges. So first what I am going to do is, I'll fill my plastic bottle with some water. So you can see I have filled this bottle with some water. Now I am having two oranges. If you see carefully the size and the weight of the orange is more or less same. And when I am just trying to lift it up it weighs the same. So what I am going to do is I will just peel one orange and let's see. So if I peel this orange, 
we know that the weight is going to reduce as compared to this orange which is unpeeled so i'm going to peel off my orange okay so now you can see i've peeled my orange and it doesn't have the outer coat so let me put this orange inside this bottle of water let us observe what is happening okay what did we observe that our orange went down that means it sank down okay so let me try with this orange but i'm not going to peel this orange i'll just put my orange inside the water as it is and let's observe and what do you feel that it is going to sink or is it going to float if you ask normally to a child he or she might say it is going to uh, of course it is going to sink because the weight is more and the orange which is inside the water we had peeled off that orange so weight was less as compared to this orange it sank so this is also going to sink but let us observe here i go i'm just putting it inside just look at my orange can you see just observe the two oranges i'm trying to push this orange with the rind or the peel it is not going down the more i push the more it bounces up but my orange at the down or at the base which was without the rind or without the peel it sank down i'll just show you from side can you see just observe carefully look at this orange with the rind it is floating but without the rind or the peel it sank so what is the science behind this let us try to understand we know that an orange with a rind is heavier than an orange without a rind so why did the orange with the rind float and the orange without the rind sink let us understand the orange with the peel floats because the rind is porous and filled with tiny air pockets these pockets of air make the orange less dense than water and cause it to float when you remove the rind from the orange you are also removing those tiny air pockets therefore the orange without the peel is more dense than water and it sinks so to understand the experiment better let us take another example of a swimming pool if we get inside a pool and uh, we are like the peeled orange so we sink but if we wear life jacket we float because the life jacket is made of foam and contains tons of air pockets when they put it on they can suddenly displace more water while becoming less dense and they float if you enjoy this activity do like it and do not forget to subscribe by pressing the bell icon which is right there on your screen and if you wish to share your experience with everyone do put it in the comment section or do write a mail so that in my future upcoming videos i can share your experience through an experiment till then take care bye bye